welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be giving you some tips and guidance on getting a good handstand. Now I'm not like amazing at handstands, this is something that I um, am just progressing with, so it's not going to be like a full handstand, but I will give you tips on how to get started. So the first thing we're going to need to do is warm up our hands. And the other way. And then we're going to get your hands, and you're going to put them like the wrong way around, like the wrong way around and upside down. Um, some people don't like this, it's a bit squeamish about it, but I don't mind it. And then you want to put your hands like this, so your inner arms facing forwards, and just rock back and forth on that a few times. Just just get your hands warmed up. Um, I probably do like some stretching and stuff before um, you do things like handstands as well. So now we've done that, let's get our mat. So I have a mat that you can't see, <laughs> that I um, just bought off Amazon. They are kind of a bit expensive, but they do the job. So this one's second hand, so it wasn't as expensive, but it's still kind of expensive. <laughs> so I'll give you a few tips on your handstands, first of all. Firstly, if you are on a laminate floor, don't wear socks. I'm on the carpet, that's why it's okay for me to wear the socks. If you're on a laminate floor, you're just going to slip. Number two, tuck your t-shirt in. <laughs> Nobody want to see that. Nobody want to see your belly as you're flying through the air, so <laughs> tuck your t-shirt in. So, um, the main things I'd say about handstands, when you go into your handstand, your arms need to be up. So you're prepared but you need to like what my teacher says is squeeze your brain so you need to be, like have them really close to your head um, which is going to help you um, you need to try if you've never done a handstand before try it on both sides of your legs to see which one you're better at so I'm right-handed but I'm left-footed so any sport I do like acro or if I did a long jump or whatever it's going to be my left that's what works for me so you need to do both and figure out what is your best side um yeah so you need to <laughs> to gather your foot your hands need to be squeezing your brain when you go down you want so the best thing to do is just go for it that's the best thing to do once you've got your feet in the air, when you land, talking about landing now, you want one foot to land after the other, not both together, and once your first foot has come off the floor, you need to take your hands off the floor, because otherwise you're just going to end up in a heap on the floor. I've got to admit, I have done that before, like a lot. It took me a while to be able to trust myself to um, like know how to do the handstand. So go show your foot, your, 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 your foot, squeeze your brain, and you want to raise your leg, lower it, as you lower it, you put your hands down, and you just want to kick off with one of your feet, so what we're going to do is do like a half handstand, I suppose, so that's where like, your legs are just going to go straight back behind you. This is if you've never done a handstand before, so it gets you started on knowing what to do. So we'll do a few of them, and then I will talk you through a proper handstand. And you want both your feet to be up the floor. So basically with this handstand, this leg, your leg you're not Starting on needs to go out back and the leg you are standing on can just just come up a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. But 
that's how you sort of start learning. As you can see, I'm not very great at getting back up again. So that's kind of how you start your handstand. I'll show you my right leg right honestly. This is terrible. I, for some reason, my leg decides to bend itself, and I don't really know what it's doing. But I'll show you anyway, just so you, you can get the right idea. So that's a starting handstand. This foot just comes off the floor. This one straight back. And look behind you. So that's how we start handstand. That's um, how you start learning. And then you go into a full handstand where you just want to throw yourself into it, try and kick your legs as high as they'll go. And also, I'm not very good at it. I don't do it, I like, can't do it all the time. But when you're up in the air, as well as looking backwards, your, um, kind of, your head needs to kind of go over your shoulders so that you're like straight up and that's gonna help like keep you there. And um, yeah, like I said, I'm not very good at it, but I'll show you what I kind of do for a handstand. So as you can see, mine's kind of like halfway between the start handstand and like a proper handstand. I can't get my leg all the way up there. But. Now that was kind of more like it. That was like my head went over, but obviously I'm not used to it. So my body's like, hey, what are you doing? And that's why I didn't land properly. But that's kind of what you want to do. And like I said, like this mat is really good. Like not sponsored. It's, I don't know what it is, it's just a map from Amazon. Um, it's really good because it's kind of bouncy. So when I put my hands down, my legs, I'm just like, whee! So um, it does help to get a mat rather than just use the floor. And um, yeah, it does help. It does really help. you as well because if you don't you just kind of I don't know your body's just gonna get lopsided you need to be able to trust yourself really I'd say this is the big trust thing but in yourself that you're not gonna fall or anything um obviously if you've never done this before I probably would have somebody um if you're doing it at home even somebody spotting you so what that means is somebody to be there to like help you and stop you from falling over basically. But I don't find myself so. I 
could feel my leg went up a bit higher than it did before and that's usually because I, I'm like warming up now. My body's like, oh, I know what you're doing now. <laughs> so that's probably why that one was better. <laughs> but yeah, remember to squeeze your brain and to gaja your foot. So if you don't do dance, that means point your foot, <laughs> point your foot straight. You like your legs need to be straight. And then you kind of need to put your foot down, but with your legs still straight and then kick your legs back. And that's going to give you a good hamstring. Notice, but I've got a bruise on the arm there. Don't know if you noticed that. Uh, I have a bruise on my arm, I have a couple of bruises on my leg, and that is because I did um, a back bend onto a chair without being spotted and it toppled over and I sort of fell with it and hit the leg of the chair and stuff. So, yeah, that's why it's kind of important that you do have somebody spotting you to make sure that. Um, you don't fall and hurt yourself. But um, since then I've spoken to my dance teacher and she gave me an idea of piling cushions on a chair and then back bending onto the cushions because then at least it's soft. So if you do fall, you fall into the sofa. So, But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. So don't miss any of my videos just like this one. And also, Comment down below what you'd like to see me do next. Love you all. Bye.